Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Thursday, August 11th, 2022. And as you wake up and you start your this brand new day, thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're out and about today, take some time and give God praise. Because He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving today is august 11th and it is national son and daughter day so if you have a son or daughter make sure you take some time today and tell them how much you love them and appreciate them and uh i'll just leave that one right there i don't have either one but if i had one i'd be telling them how much i appreciate them Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Psalms, chapter number 39, and it's verse number 1. Scripture says, I said, I will take heed to my ways, that I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle, while the wicked is before me. Friends, these are the words of David, and today we're continuing in the series of Guard Yourself or Guard Your speech today we need to watch our speech and this has been an interesting series i think um if you go back to monday and start listening to what we talked about monday we talked about how we need to guard ourselves from idols make sure we don't fall into worshiping an idol and in our world today it would be so easy to do and then on Tuesday we talked about guarding ourselves from Satan. Peter says that that the devil is walking around like a roaring lion seeking whom he's going to devour. And we need to make sure we guard ourselves from the attacks of Satan that we don't stumble over his stumbling blocks. And we don't fall into the traps that he has set for us because that's his number one thing is to get us away from the Lord. And then yesterday we talked about guarding our doctrine. And we looked at at um we looked at the Galatian church and we saw how they were so quickly falling away from the doctrine that they were taught by the apostle Paul and he marveled at that and it made me think you know that a lot of times we fall away from from the true word because we we just get involved in, other, in too much stuff and we pay too much attention to what is going on and that we don't check to see and make sure that what you're being taught lines up with what the word says you know there's thousands upon thousands of christian podcasts out there but not not all of them preach the true word of god and that's what you need to make sure that what is being preached lines up with the word of god so protect the doctrine that led you to your faith And today we're talking about our speech. We need to guard our speech. David said that he is going to take heed to his ways. He's going to pay attention to his ways. He said that I sin not with my tongue. David wants to make sure that his speech is right before the Lord, that his speech doesn't cause people to stumble and fall, because a lot of times we can do that. Our speech can do that. Words a lot of times hurt far more than a rock or a stone would. And I was watching a video today, you probably saw it on Facebook, it's been all over Facebook, I've seen it about a hundred times today, in the Little League World Series, this boy got hit with a pitch right in the head, and after he got, he walked to first base, he noticed the pitcher, these are probably 10, 12 year old boys I would think, that the pitcher was visibly upset because of what had happened, and the boy went over and hugged the pitcher and gave him comforting words. And his words healed there. And it got me to thinking, you know, this is baseball season. Baseball is not one of my favorite sports. But it got me to thinking what happens when you watch a major league game and someone gets hit with a pitch. It ends up being both benches cleared in a big brawl. Where here was these 10-year-old kids, 12-year-old kids, who demonstrated what we should be doing. His words comforted that in that time of trouble, in that time of, of trial for that And we need to be the same way in the book of James, chapter number 3. 
and we're going to look here specifically. I'm going to come back here to Psalms in a minute. We'll look at the words of James here in James chapter 3, starting in verse number 5. He says, Even so the tongue is a little member, and boasteth great things. How great a matter a little fire kindleth. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue amongst our members, that it defileth the whole body, and setteth on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire of hell for every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents and of things in the sea is tamed it hath been tamed of mankind but the tongue can no man tame it is an unruly evil full of deadly poison here's where i want us to focus on the next three next four verses here therewith we bless god even the father and therewith we curse men which are made after the similitude of god out of the same mouth proceeding blessing and cursing my brethren these things ought not so to be doth a fountain set forth water at the same place sweet water and bitter can the fig tree my brethren bear olive berries either a vine figs so can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh i love the book of james because he's always he just kept basically cut and dry plain and simple the tongue the tongue is an evil member of our body and with our tongue we're going to get ourselves into trouble and with our tongue we're going to hurt other people and james challenges us here and, and i want you to go back and read these verses when we get done tonight or this morning or whenever you're listening to this broadcast but I want you to read these verses in your own scriptures and I want you to, in your own Bible, and I want you to look specifically at verses 9 through 12. Because this here, James says, therewith, with the tongue, the same tongue, we bless God, even the Father. And therewith, curse we men which are after the similitude of God. That's the verse I want us to really think about. You've often heard me use the phrase, we can't praise God, we can't be a Christian on Sunday and a sinner on Monday, and that's exactly what this verse is showing us. And the next statement I'm going to make, I'm 100% guilty of, just like I'm sure everybody that's listening to this broadcast is. We get out of church after praising God, and we're on our way to our to our favorite restaurant for Sunday dinner. And someone pulls out in front of you, or someone's driving too slow, or someone does something stupid in their car, how some people got their driver's license, I never know, but that's a whole different story. And they do something stupid, and what do we start doing? We start cursing men right after we got done worshiping God. We can't do that. We can't continue to do that, and I'm just as guilty of that as anybody else. But we need to guard our tongue. David said in Psalm 39, Back to Psalm 39 and verse number 1. He says he don't want to sin with his tongue. Then he says, I will keep my mouth with a bridle while the wicked is before me. So he's going he's gonna to put a bridle in his mouth. Not physically, I'm sure. But he's going to put a bridle on his tongue so that he doesn't say things he shouldn't be saying at all. Friends, ask God to help control your speech today. Ask God to, to take control of that little organ that's inside your mouth. And ask God to control that so that only good speech, edifying speech, comes out of that mouth. Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's Word and allow God's Word to get into you. And then share that Word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Okay, tell us how to get to heaven. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Finished? Yep. Great. I'll read the disclaimer. Disclaimer? Really nice people can ignore the previous directions to heaven. That's not true. The Bible says everyone has sinned and needs to be saved. Everyone? Everyone. Well, then you're implying anybody can be saved. Yes, if they confess Jesus is Lord. Yeah, but anybody? No disclaimer at all? Anybody. But I know some people I'd never let into heaven. But you aren't the judge. God is. And he's offered heaven to anyone who puts their faith in his son, Jesus. But we need a disclaimer. How about relatives of employees are prohibited from... No. Taxes, license, and deals. No. A limited time offer. God's offer is good for as long as we live. Aha! 
God's offer of heaven is available only while you are breathing. Fine. Void where prohibited by law. Stop that. Sorry. Another message from Lifeline Productions, the comic strip of radio, at lifelinepro.com. 